this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another Thursday garage sale haul. Uh, broke a record today. <laughs> I spent $107. That is a record for a one-day expenditure for me. Um, I did go to 33 garage sales. One of the sales I spent $52 at. And it was a honey hole. And I know I'm going to make a decent amount of money. But I want to show you what I got. I also have a couple of items I got uh, at Salvation Army on Wednesday because it was all price, all prices or all tickets were half except one color. And I also hit a garage sale and got a few items. Um, I was going out with my daughter for a little bit, took a wrong turn, and what do you know, there was a garage sale, so I had to stop. But I'm very happy with what I did get and some really, really nice, high-quality items. So I got them kind of strewn all over, so let me start with what I got at a garage sale today. I got a bag of moss. Now, all of this stuff, plus my daughter picked out two scarves and two pairs of brand new socks, uh, put it all in this bag at a garage sale and said, I'll give you 10 for all of it. And she said yes. So I got the uh, moss. These are really cute little salt and pepper shakers that look like mini uh, corn and cob. This is a really cool uh, ceramic wall pocket. It says made in Italy. I did a little research on it. I found one other one for $40 on eBay, but the design was fruits and vegetables, not flowers. So that is a really good find. Got this instant Polaroid camera, still in the box with the instructions, and that's probably a good $30. Got these two metal frames, um, really nice. That's almost like a pearl essence kind of uh, around here. So that was a good deal, and I got a post-it notes with a little doggy on it. I can always use post-it notes. Um, here's another item I decided to hang up. This is a mask that was made in Venice, Italy. It has that information on the inside of the mask as well as a... Uh, the tag is still on. And if you notice, like the eyebrows and underneath the eyes, that is uh, sheet music and on top as well. So that is a really, really, really cool piece. I did some research on that one and cannot find one exactly like it, but I'm anticipating getting 60 to $70 for it. I believe I paid 10 for that, which for me is a lot, but I knew it was a unique piece. Um, I also got this really cool hanging light, and it's got a chain on the bottom and then a metal uh, star. So let me turn that on so you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the design it leaves on the wall. I believe that was $4. Isn't that beautiful? At the same sale, I also got this light, and this is a glass star. Plugs into the wall. Beautiful. It's like purple glass. Um, this was a dollar. So for, you know, put whatever you need in there and then put the little label. Um, I got these real interesting, I don't know if they're uh, condiment spoons or if they're just, uh, you know, baby spoons. But they have real cool handles. And as you can tell, they taped the tarnation out of this box. So I have yet to open these. But I can tell you the box will be dead after I take all that off. These were $4 and half price. They were two at Salvation Army. And these also are two-pack camo stainless steel wine goblets. Who doesn't need camo wine goblets? I ask you. So those are cool. Those are still in the box. I believe these were, uh, I don't know, they were 2 or $3. I can't remember now. Um, I got some little glass dishes for Inky for his food. Got some cute owls. This one is a bank. Still has the plug. Really cool design and colors on him. And then this is like a mama and a baby. I believe one was 50 cents, one was a dollar. Um, this guy was $2.99 and he was half, so he was buck fifty. Oh, what does it say on there? Ah, uh, Niagara Falls. I didn't even notice that till just now. These are really cool. My sister has sold one of these before. 
It is a glass popcorn dish. It has three or four of the popcorn bowls, and then it has the uh, popcorn salt shaker. Isn't that cool? So that, I believe, was ten, and then it was half, so it was five. Got this real cool glass jar. I have a couple of chalkboard labels. I'm probably going to slap one on there, so I think it'll be more appealing. This, I couldn't believe the price on this. This is a jewelry tree, and if you notice, it has some holes where you can hang things and just the branches. 75 cents. I was very happy with that. Um, uh, I only have a, maybe one jewelry tree left in my antique booth. They go pretty quick. And especially something unique like this. I mean, it's beautiful all by itself. Uh, got this at one sale. I think it was the only thing I found. An antique uh, little kid's boot. Isn't that adorable? Um, got a little sewing box. Um, I've sold one almost exactly like this, if you remember, but it was a little bit bigger, I think. These don't sell real fast, but people do buy them. You know me and colanders. I say the same thing every time. This one is a little more beat up, but I believe it was just a quarter, and I will probably use that in the booth as um, display. This is a really interesting piece. And the lady said that she brought it back from Egypt. And it's got some interesting markings and pictures on it. And that was a whole $4. So I haven't done any research or know exactly what that was used for. But again, very unique uh, piece. And unique stuff always goes. This is a um, dollar. And it has a place for a candle. And this is the uh, the stained glass. And it has dragonflies on it. So that was a cute piece. <laughs> got the chef salt and pepper shakers. Got a cute little bird. And I thought of uh, Jason T. Smith. And I also thought of you, Ann, from See and Save. Um, he's a little bank, but look, he's a little pog. He's got his little tongue sticking out like Max. So Max and Lucy. I thought of them as soon as I saw this. That was a whole 50 cents. I like stuff that you get that's decorative, but it's all white because people like to decorate in just one color. So I think that'll do really good. This is a really cool piece, extremely heavy. It is a metal pig bank with the wings, very heavy. And he was a whole dollar, uh, or two dollars. I was just blown away by the, some of the prices. And that was, that was also where I got the lamp and the mask and uh, the star lamp as well. So I really cleaned up there. Um, found this for $2, leather uh, case with a flask for your alcohol. These always sell well at the booth, or I may do some research on eBay. People like them for their man caves. I have always sold those. They always, always, always sell. Got this cute little word says love, one says faith. This I got for a dollar. I think the price tag came off. It is a leather fossil bag. Um, very happy with that. I went up to pay for it and the lady uh, was sitting there with her friend and her friend says, oh, I wish I would have seen that. I could use that when I go play bingo. And I'm like, mm, you're not going to take it from me. <laughs> but a leather vintage fossil bag. Uh, do some research on that, but I know that will do well. This hanger was 50 cents and I could not, <laughs> I couldn't look away. Uh, it looks like a nice uh, bosom there with a tattoo and the collar from a shirt like a leather jacket and a chain isn't that funny you know novelty stuff like that always sells really well so that was adorable this was a whole dollar um, I have a mannequin for an adult but I did not have a child one I don't sell a lot of children's clothes but for a dollar I definitely picked that up and we'll use that when I am doing pictures for eBay. Got a cute little vanity tray. It was a whole dollar. Those are really nice to put on your, uh, on a vanity tray or on your dresser. You can put your, you know, the bigger ones you can put makeup. This one would be nice for just a few perfume bottles and such. Got a leather studded guitar strap. That was, I think a dollar. This cool lamp. I believe was five. 
and it's got real clear like uh, pictures of New York City. So I thought that was definitely adorable. Very cute and five dollars. This is a nice vintage piece. You could tell by the type of pull tab it has on the top and it is a Budweiser. It is not a cooler but it is an ice bucket. So the top is metal and that is just adorable. When I picked it up the lady goes, oh uh, that's five bucks and I have the box. So I have the box for it. Don't know if that's really going to help. If I do sell it on eBay, I'm going to do a little research. That will be handy because I can ship it in that. So Budweiser, not too bad. That's a great man cave item. I am so in love with this that I do want to keep it. This is an item that would definitely tempt me. Um, this would be great to hang in your bedroom and even just hang your jewelry on here. But in this bag over here, the little plastic bag, are uh, little cups for you to put your candles in. So I think there's one, two, three, four. So you could use it for jewelry, like I said, or leave it at blank, or put the votive holders in there and put some candles. Wouldn't that be gorgeous lit up at night? $8. Very, very, very tempted to keep that. But I don't think I will, because I will get a decent amount for that. One of the other sales I went to today, I got this cute um, little grocery cart, a whole dollar. It is metal. This is a really cool bag, and it is by Sydney Love is the name on it. I have found this style of bag on eBay, but not the exact pattern, like the 50s um, type of dress uh, that these women are wearing. The one that was in this uh, shape or this size bag was $40. I paid five for that bag, so I know that's going to do well. I knew it was a unique piece. I didn't recognize the name, but looking at all the other name brand type items that this woman had at her sale, it was a gimme. I knew that it would do well. This absolutely huge metal and ceramic uh, wall hanging, whew, it is really heavy. I walked up the driveway and saw this has a $5 sticker on it. So the lady goes, hi, and I said, I want that. Because <laughs> it was other people coming up the driveway behind me, and I'm like, I have to have that. So $5, that was a gimme all day long. Got this really cool rug. I see a ton of rugs at garage sales. This one is a really pretty pattern. Got some neutral colors with some greens. $5, it is a five by seven rug and um, don't know, probably going to sell it. Not sure how much yet. Haven't done any research on it, but uh, rugs do really well at the antique mall, depending on if they're priced right. Some people can price them sky high, and they just sit. So you know me, move it out. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I have this really cool sun mirror uh, to hang on the wall. Got three puzzles. Very picky about the puzzles I get anymore. These are sealed. I will look them up on eBay before I take them out to my antique booth. And this is a hummingbird. This one is really pretty. It's got a cat and then Egyptian like hieroglyphics and such. And this one is really pretty. A train. And this one is also um, this one is also sealed. I believe this was three. Um, let's see. That one was two. And this one was two. So that is definitely a good price. I got this cute little glass ball that you can hang up. Another nice frame. This woven little container. The uh, glass ball was a dollar. Frame was 50 cents and a dollar for this cool um, soft-sided little basket. Um, roosters and chickens do really good. This one, I thought, that's strange, it's all black. And then if you look, there's a little divot down here for a chalk, piece of chalk. This is a chalkboard, um, you know, little display you could put in your kitchen. That was two dollars. I got this really cool Paris, um, France. Sign for $3. This one is for 4 
It is the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, and it is clear, if you notice. So that's really a cool piece. So whatever you hang it in front of, that's the color that'll show through. Um, I got this cute little sign for a dollar. It says, bless this mess. It's older, you can tell. Um, okay, really down east novelties. Uh, this was four dollars. I talked her down to three. Keep calm and eat a cupcake. Sounds like great advice to me. Um, that had a TJ Maxx sticker on it. These two kind of go together. Don't know if I'll sell them together or separate. They are leaf prints. These uh, are the wrapped canvas. They were a dollar each. This is so adorable. This was a dollar. It is also that um, the canvas. But isn't it beautiful? Kind of get a New York City vibe on that. That would go nice with the lamp. And then these were, I believe, $2. And one was marked, the other one wasn't. So they're a dollar each, but they kind of go together. And they have the uh, gold uh, intricate kind of design on the edges. Isn't that beautiful? That had uh, TJ Maxx $13 a piece for those two. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I got this Eiffel Tower with a clock. <laughs> These are neat, too, if you want to hang um, or use them for jewelry and such. But as you can tell, I mean, it's a big piece. Anything Eiffel Tower, I always get it. The Paris sign should do really well. Um, people just love that stuff. So Eiffel Tower, definitely, that's that was an easy um, decision to get that. It was only $4. So that was a great piece as well. And I think that's all I got. Whew. That's a marathon to go through all that. So a lot of good stuff. It's so funny because when we went to the sale, I picked up a lot of this stuff and was handing stuff to my son. And we paid and I started to leave. And there was some things in the driveway that I completely and totally missed. So I'm standing there looking at it and looking at what I'm holding. And my son goes, let's just carry it out to the car and we'll come back. And I'm like, yes. So... He's actually busy this evening, so I wasn't able to get him to show you what he got. He did get, a, I believe, a PlayStation 4 with a whole bunch of games that are worth a decent amount and uh, some uh, amp accessories for guitars, electric guitars. So he's really kind of expanding his horizon, which is really cool because, you know, if you're looking for one or two particular things, it's harder to find good things to sell. But when you have a whole bunch of things you're looking for, uh, you'll always find something when you go out. So that is all I got this time. Like I said, I spent 107 garage selling. I spent $6 on that, $10 on that, and I'm not sure how much on that. I'd say probably another $10. So that's a lot of money. <laughs> I had no intention of going garage selling, uh, uh, Friday morning either but I'm like you know I see one and I just have to pull in and my daughter had to go somewhere and she goes I don't know are we gonna make it over there today and I said yes <laughs> you know you can't stop so I mean you can't stop yourself from you know taking a quick look you never know what you're gonna find so that is all I got please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below um, or a question anything you see that's interesting that you have some input on I would be glad to hear it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, share me. Share my videos. Be in my circle. Let's hold hands. Yeah, yeah. All that good stuff. You know what I'm talking about. So that's all I got. Please get out there. Find some good stuff. And I will see you next time. Until then, happy picking. Bye.